All right, so now that we have one side done, what I'm going to do is take this side and uh, take it and maybe make it a little bit smaller. I can turn these off. I don't need them at this point. I'm just going to kind of shrink this up by holding shift. That way it makes a uniformed change on that. So it scales it from all sides. Then what I'm going to do is drag this down and make a duplicate of it. So now there's two. And I can take an image, no, edit, transform, and flip horizontal. Okay, so now i got two of them. Pretty cool. Okay, then I could take both and kind of center them up. If I want to find the exact center of this, what I'll do is go into rulers and draw me out a grid. This is 2048 by 2048. So a way to do that is turn these off. That way they don't affect the snapping. So now when you kind of brush over the outside, you'll feel it snap to the center. That means that's the absolute center of the document. And by grabbing these two, I can move it around and you can see this gets snapped to that. Now is that important? No, absolutely not very important at all. But it will save you a couple steps. So this is just a part of the bigger picture. You know, I might have something out here, a decorative border, um, a whole bunch of little gems, whatever. But I have to work on one step at a time. So what I'm going to do here is save this out and show you what I'm going to do with it back in ZBrush. How about I call this part one and save it. Okay, so meet me in uh, ZBrush in the next video. I know this one was kind of short, but I want to save all my steps.